Hi, welcome back to Kathy's Crackers. I'm Brent. And I'm Kathy. We thought we'd kind of explain the little bit of process that goes into making Kathy's Crackers. Kathleen started this years ago just uh, making them at home. We didn't have a dehydrator and uh, we lived in Vegas at the time. So I remember we should put make this seed concoction and uh, we'd put them out on the roof of our car out in the heat of the Las Vegas sun just to try to get these things dry. And little cheesecloth on top. Little cheesecloth on top to keep the bugs out. But even with that, a lot of people ask, how do you get these seeds to stick together without, if you look on our ingredients, we don't use any binders or anything to keep these seeds together. Through our studying of nutrition, we found that you have to soak your seeds in order for you to receive all the nutritional benefits from them. Because nature has given all these seeds that we enjoy little protection so that maybe we'll make birds and bugs uh, not like them. And these are called uh, phytic acids and other acids that are just naturally on the seeds. Well, they're also hard for us to digest too. And how we break that down is we soak our seeds. You have to, uh, a minimum of six hours for some of the seeds. Flax seed, you can do less. So we go through that's our first step in our process. And uh, after they're soaked, we know that they're nutritionally bioavailable for us in our bodies and for yours as you enjoy Kathy's crackers. We come up with some different recipes. The savory was the first one Kathleen made, and uh, maybe you can talk about how you came about that. Just trying to find one, um, a raw cracker in a store that I would like, and I couldn't really find one that had enough flavor for me. And so I started experimenting with my uh, flaxseed mixture with the sunflower seeds and the pumpkin seeds, um, and added. I decided to add some fresh vegetables to them. And that came out really well. You know, the bell pepper and the, uh, the tomatoes, and really tasty. Um, then it came time, I wanted more of a sweet one. And so decided to try some apple and cinnamon with just a little tiny bit of stevia in there. And that worked really well too. And then, because I was still hungry, <laughs> made a spicy salsa one. And um, some people uh, can handle the spiciness, some can't. Some people really like just the uh, savory, full of flavor one. Um, well, the, so the spiciness comes from the fresh jalapenos that we mm -hmm. put in there. Yeah. And we can't control that all the time. You know, no. sometimes peppers are hotter than other. And when we dehydrate them, it brings up that pepper <coughs> taste also. Right. Uh, maybe that's something we need to point out is everything we use in Kathy's Crackers is fresh. We don't buy another can thing or another bottle thing and put it in Kathy's Crackers. Everything is fresh. Because that's what we like. And we find people do like fresh, fresh foods when they buy it. They like the taste of freshness. I was also looking for something that would be low in carbohydrates. Um, I, I think you need to be very careful. We all need to about how m much we consume as far as sugars go. Sugar is very sharp, sharp crystal. As it goes through the uh, bloodstream, it can do some damage. And so the more fiber you can add to your diet, the more that will bind with that sugar or that carb and take that number down for you. So the less damage done to your blood vessels, the healthier you'll be. The more oxygen you'll get to every um, organ in the body because those vessels are working well. Um, also the omega-3s and that is something that we we advertise right on the front of Kathy's Crackers. It has those essential omega oils in it. Uh, omega, since, especially in this country, since we've been going to man-made oils, the margarines, the, the soybean oils, the corn oils, they're very high in omega-9. Omega-9 oils are needed in our body, but not in a quantity that we're getting that right now. And we're seeing the effects of it in our health system. If we can lower our omega-9s and increase our omega-3s and 6s, it will help balance out our bodies for an overall health. Flax seed is an amazing seed. It's got a lot of omega-3s in it, but in a balanced portion with 6s also. And all our seeds that we use, just from nature themselves, have a balance of oils and those essential oils that our body cannot make for itself. We need to get these out of our diet. And with that in mind, uh, we encourage you to choose Kathy's Crackers. You know, they're, they're a good way, a tasty way, and a fun way to enjoy your omega-3s. 
not all the time everybody likes to take a teaspoon of omega-3 oil or flax oil. It doesn't taste very good all the time. But if you have a serving of Kathy's crackers, you get a good dose of omega-3 oil in your diet. All of Kathy's crackers are also gluten-free. That's why Kathleen started in on looking for some type of different thing to eat. She wasn't digesting wheat very good and the gluten that's in the wheat. So she wanted some other way to enjoy foods that she was used to eating anyway. Having a sandwich. Having a sandwich. You know, um, so many people have that challenge in their life right now to stay away from gluten. And so I wanted something that actually tastes good <laughs> for me. And um, these do, they taste very good. And I can have my sweet, I can have my spicy or my savory, whatever I'm in the mood for, and still make the same kind of sandwich someone else could make with a wheat gluten bread. And, or even, you know, like um, using these, um, the crackers for a nice pizza crust for me that I put my fresh uh, pizza sauce on and put a little bit of whatever cheese I want right then and just put it in the oven slightly just to let the cheese melt a little. It doesn't really heat up the cracker that much for me, so I still have all my enzymes in there, and that works out really well too. So um, keeping the sugars low, keeping your um, fiber up. And your omega-3s up. Omega-3s up. And good source of protein. Great way to do that. Great way to add energy if you're out walking, if you are in a bike race or a marathon. Very easy to pack with you and take with you and have some very good, uh, very good source of energy for you that you know is going to help the body and not, and not do any harm. That's a good so. point. They do travel well. They travel you well. You don't need to stop at a convenience store. You can pack Kathy's crackers along and, and enjoy a good nutritious meal while you're on the road or whatever your activity is. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy Kathy's Crackers.